everyone, this is Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video we're going to go over how to prick your finger with a lancet. So in other words, I'm going to show you how to use a lancet device when poking your fingertips to get a blood sugar. So in my other videos, I showed you how to check a blood sugar, I showed you how to prime a lancet, and I showed you how to do a quality control on your glucometer. So be sure to check out those videos. Now as a nursing student, you're going to have to know how to poke the finger pads correctly on your diabetic patient to check their blood sugar. So you decrease causing them pain, you get it in one stick so you don't have to poke them again. So I'm going to actually show you how to do that. So let's get started. Okay, the very first thing you want to do is wash your hands. Then you want to get your Lancet device primed and ready to go. Now nursing students, in the hospital setting, these Lancet devices like BD needles will typically already be primed for you. So you won't have to prime it. But if you've got your own testing kit, um, you will need to prime your own Lancet. So typically how it works, um, yours may look a, bit, a little bit different, but it should work the same way. You twist this part off right here. And you're going to take your lancet and find the grooves on it and you're going to slide it just inside of the device like so and then engage the needle i like to say engage the needle before you expose the needle because you'll could poke yourself which contaminates it so just hit it inside and i'm just going to show you how this works see if you hit this button that engages your needle and you can just put it back in so that's how that works and what you're going to do is twist this part off and the needle's engaged and we're just going to slide our cap in twist it on and don't hit this button because you'll hit your needle and you'll have to reset it now you're going to pick the setting of how deep you want the needle to poke your finger typically one to two is best for people who have really thin skin three to four is usually the best setting that works for most people on average and then five or higher is for people who have that really thick callous skin for me i'm just going to do a three so we have our lancet ready and what we're going to do is we're going to pick a fingertip any fingertip you want will work i like to tell people rotate those fingertips out because they can get really sore but um, i'm going to use this one and i really recommend students diabetics really massage on that finger and really get that blood flow to the tip of the fingertip because that's going to give you the best specimen and um, rub that and then clean your area with some alcohol prep get any germs off let it completely dry and what we're going to do now is after it's dried we are going to go in at the side okay you don't really go in the middle you want to go in the side of where or not at the top of the fingertip really the sides the best because that is shown where the best capillaries are for getting your specimen. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to the side and I'm gonna make contact, push it down a little firmly because you don't wanna go superficially and have to poke the patient again. So push firmly and hit your needle and then squeeze, wipe that first blood drop off because that is diluted with your alcohol prep and then just squeeze it and when you get a good drop, take your strip from your glucometer and follow the settings for that. And it will suck up your blood and then put a gauze over and hold and wait for your result. So that is how you poke your finger using a lancet. Now be sure to check out my other videos on how to check your blood sugar, how to load a lancet, and other videos. And thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to this YouTube channel.